Welcome to Left Undone Incomplete Investigations. I'm Catherine. Still getting settled in my new place, so please forgive anything in the background that doesn't make it look like it should. But I did want to give you this video. I feel like it's important and I think it's something that you should listen to if you've had any doubts about my live stream interview with Adam Vance. I have confirmation and emails and between the two of them. So stay tuned. Welcome to Left Undone Incomplete Investigations. I'm Catherine. Please like, please subscribe, please ring the bell for notifications. We go live every Saturday morning. See you there. But right now, let's get started on this. supply to me to show you all that this coded voicemail, the Julie Rowe voicemail was not code. In my gut, I feel it's really important to put the truth out there, especially on this one. We do not want to be part of a witch hunt and we don't want to accuse somebody of something they didn't do. We've established that Julie Rowe changes her story, goes along with stuff. She's out there to make money. And we are not here in any way to defend that part of what Julie Rowe does. What we are here to do is to show you that that voicemail to Adam Vance had nothing to do with Charles murder, Charles Vallow murder, or the missing children, JJ and Tylee, and their subsequent, and their subsequent murder as well. So I'm gonna start with this piece of information right here. The first one is an email from Julie Rowe. This one establishes personal communication with Julie Rowe between Julie Rowe and Adam Vance as early as January 4th, 2016. This, as you can see, it's up on the screen here. It says you have just been sent a personal message by Julie Rowe on Pathway to Zion says, hi Adam, how are you? Just checking in to say hello and to see if you can check on the application approval status of my friend blank. He is our relief fund vice president. I was talking to him briefly on Saturday and he mentioned he had registered a while ago but was not ever able to log on. Not sure how long ago or what. Can you look into this? We need to get him logged on. Thanks so much, hope you are well. Sorry you haven't heard from me. Combination of being out of town, sick, and busy with my book and GTRF. Jeff went back to work today and kids went back to school. Now I am trying to get organized again and back into the swing of things. Trying to get most of the rest of the book done this week before I leave Thursday for Arizona. Get back to Iowa on Monday. Hope to have the book to press by middle of the month. Thanks so much. Hope you are well, Julie. So that's the first one. The next one establishes that they, at Pathway to Zion, were starting to have concerns with Julie Rowe. This original message was set out to Pathway to Zion members regarding the concerns about Julie Rowe. Some of the email addresses and stuff are redacted because it only makes sense. They don't want their emails blowing up. So this is dated Monday, June 27th, 2016. As Pathway to Zion family, I greatly value your membership with us. You are first and foremost our greatest concern as we strive to keep the environment on Pathway to Zion peaceful, contention free, and a place where our members can feel comfortable in sharing their thoughts and sacred experiences without fear of reprisal. It is in that spirit of protection that I feel it necessary now to share our concerns about Julie Rowe and the reason we have removed her membership and threats we also did so out of concern and love for Julie and her family. For those of you who have been signed up for Julie's blogs, she has been projecting messages through, the ch through chosen music that has become increasingly worldly and even satanic in content. 
Members have also sent us messages that they have received from Julie that have been strange and incomprehensible in their purpose. We have placed Julie and her family on several temple prayer rolls and will continue to pray for their welfare. We hope that she can get some needed rest and help for her health issues. Our concerns for Julie have come in the past few weeks. We do not discount her experiences as shared in her books and greatly respect the contributions she has made therein. We will continue to do all we can to keep our members safe, even when it's uncomfortable for us to do so. We have developed many wonderful friendships here and truly love and care for all of you. Sincerely, Adam Vance. Again, date was June 27th, 2016. Now the next one, concern to messages to JR. This is a message to Julie Rowe. Okay, um, to letting her know that Adam had to make the decision to delete her from Pathway to Zion. Dear Julie, Saturday, June 25th, 2016 from Adam Vance. Dear Julie, I've tried to get a hold of you a few times and have been unsuccessful. I wanted to let you know that I've decided to delete your membership from Pathway to Zion, along with your categories in the forum board. I have done this out of deep concern and love for your public image, safety, and that of your family, and I also feel this fits in your desire to back away from Pathway to Zion, as I expressed earlier. The admins and I have become very concerned with messages you have been posting on PTZ and on your personal blog as of late. We are afraid these messages will potentially harm your reputation and that of your family. To protect you and your family from any possible negative public reaction, we have decided to remove these from Pathway to Zion. Please know that this is done in complete love and concern for your personal well-being and that of your family. You and your family are in my prayers and those of many others. Love and blessings to you all, your friend Adam. The next one is Julie Rowe's response to her removal. June 27, 2016. Okay, thank you, Adam. I agree. I think it is best given circumstances and what I see coming. I appreciate the heads up and appreciate your kindness on me and my family's behalf. My emails and phone and texts have been hijacked, I think, and I need that get and I need to get that all figured out. I'm pretty upset about the whole thing. I was threatened in person again this week, and it's pretty scary. Okay, well, that's what I agreed to. That's what I signed up for, the poster child. Now it's going to a whole other level, poster child for mental illness. Get ready for the backslid and the forward movement. It will all be okay. Hang in there, and thanks for your help, Julie, Jeff, and family. P.S. I will be sure to let Jeff know. I am not sure he will want to be on Pathway to Zion anymore either. His choice. I will let him read your email and he can decide. Thanks. And then the last one is the information given to the church authority regarding Julie's voicemail. Adam Vance, July 13th, 2017. Brother, please see attached as I was finally able to convert it. Thank you. And he attaches the voicemail here. JR voicemail MP3. So you can see that was sent to the LDS Church on July 13th, 2017 at 1034 p.m. Hey, I was really just getting back to you about your ramp situation. You can contact me and just let you know. Cyber security is on task, uh, secure. We are on lockdown. And um, just a matter of time before we are going to be in the prayer for Pathway to Heaven, Pathway to Zion, and Independence Day. So, freedom in the forefront. The grass is green, nails are painted, toes are pedicured, manicure is on the rise. Mantis in heaven are soon to come, and our language is effective. Think quick, think fast, catch the ball, you're up, and matter is, matter does. Here's the deal. Creatively thinking, creatively writing, creatively caring. Time to call out. You're on the call list. I'm going to step it up, my friend. It's a matter of time. Talk to 
Chris or oh, keep going. So again, and let you know where we are and things. Let him know at the thing because I haven't left the loop yet. And he doesn't need to go check. The call is coming. The grass is green and the horizon. Today is Wednesday, the 23rd. Oops, the 22nd. And the final song, the 23rd, does take the touchdown to the home run and clear the bases on Friday. undone, we want to bring you facts, not fiction. We can speculate within reason. I am opposed to throwing people to the wolves, and I'm extremely uncomfortable with accusing anyone of murder, especially when there's proof that that was not happening. Julie Rowe has a family and children included in that family. To accuse her of wanting to call the shots on, literally, on Charles Vallow's murder is absurd. Sometimes the true crime community gets a little bit too far into it. And I think we need to remember that these are people's lives. And it's interesting, it's intriguing, trying to solve the puzzle of true crime, but we must remember that we need to be respectful and ethical. My gut feeling and my gut feeling are, and my gut feelings are good. I use them at work as a nurse all the time. And when your gut is telling you that something doesn't feel right, in my opinion, that is that little voice, God, the Holy Spirit, someone telling you to think twice about what you're doing. And I felt it was really important to continue to explain to you all that truth is more important than fiction or fun or fantasy or what ifs. So thank you again for watching this. I really appreciate Adam Vance for supplying the information. Thank you, Adam. And I'm sure Julie Rowe would appreciate it as well. And I think it's not as exciting, you know, but if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. The simplest explanation is most often the explanation. And this explanation has been provided with proof. And I know there will be some of you out there that will still think that the theories or thoughts on this being some wacky code, well, I don't know what to say to you because at this point, there's nothing else we can say to change your mind. But I do realize that some people would rather just believe what they wanna believe. It's more fun, clearly. Anyway, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching Left Undone Incomplete Investigations. More to come. Take care. Be safe. Stay well.